If you use a mobile device, a flash memory stick, or a solid state drive, then chances are you are using NAND without even knowing what it is. But what exactly is NAND and why is it so important for almost every piece of tech that we use? Well, that's what today's video is all about. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrent we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Surprisingly, NAND is not an acronym. Instead, it is a term short for not AND, which is a Boolean operation and logic gate. The NAND operator produces a false value only if both values of its two inputs are true and it may be contrasted with a NOR operator which only produces a true value if both inputs are false. NAND is a cost effective type of non-volatile storage technology that does not require a power source in order to retain data. An everyday example would be a mobile device with NAND flash memory or memory chips as it is sometimes called where data such as photos, videos and music can be stored on the memory card without needing direct power or constant power. Power. They use floating gate transistors to store information without a power supply. Simply put, the NAND memory contains two gates, the control gate and the floating gate. And to program a single cell, a voltage charge must be applied to the control gate. However, the floating gate traps the electrons as they move across the cell where they can remain for years under normal operating conditions regardless of whether the chip has power connection or not. This has made NAND memory the most common mass market type of memory used because of its affordability, storage density and its speeds. So where would you normally find NAND? Well, NAND is basically found in anything that stores memory. So it's found in memory cards, USB drives and SSDs even. So things like our smartphones, modern TVs, computers, tablets. It's even found in all sorts of other equipment such as traffic lights, digital advertising panels, passenger announcement systems and commercial displays. In fact, anything that is smart and needs to transfer and retain data has likely got some kind of NAND flash memory. NAND flash is also available in different grades. You've got some for consumers and some for commercial industries. Of course, there are significant differences between consumer and industrial grade NAND. As such, it is important to consider the effect that these differences have on reliability, endurance, compliance, and obviously total cost of ownership before choosing the NAND flash that fits your needs. There are many advantages to NAND, which has made it a popular and dominant choice for storage solutions. NAND is cost effective per byte and has high storage capacity for its physical size. Devices that are made using NAND flash offer mechanical shock resistance, high durability and can withstand high pressure and temperatures when compared to traditional hard disk drives. And since it has no moving parts, these are ideal for systems that can vibrate and shake. However, it's not perfect just like any technology out there. Unfortunately, NAND cells eventually wear out as their transistors degrade. A NAND chip lasts until it reaches its right cycle limit, after which it can no longer be able to store new data. Many SSDs will have a TBW number, which denotes the number of times the SSD can be fully written before it becomes unreliable. But you want to hear something interesting? A NAND chip can withstand tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of erasures and writes depending on the design and many SSDs can do far longer than the stated TBW numbers. So even though NAND chips are physically sturdier and more durable than mechanical forms of storage like hard disk drives, when the NAND fails, the device becomes unusable, which leads to the loss of data and application functionality. There are lots of different types of NAND. The most common types of NAND flash storage include SLC, MLC, TLC, QLC and 3D NAND. SLC or single level cells store one bit per cell. SLC has the highest endurance, but it is the most expensive type of NAND flash. MLC or multi-level cells store two bits per cell. Because erasures and writes occur two times more than SLC, MLC has less endurance as compared to SLC. TLC or triple level cells store three bits per cell. Many consumer level products use this because it is less expensive. However, still performs really well, just not as well as SLC or MLC. QLC or quad level cells store four bits per cell. QLCs have even less endurance than the other three and are typically less expensive than the other three, 
Hence why you may find them in a lot of low cost and budget friendly SSDs. TLC and QLC SSDs are the two most common types of M.2 NVMe SSDs that you will find typically on the market and in your PC. We actually have a video on this channel explaining the differences between TLC and QLC, which are the two most common types of NAND flash memory that you will find in NVMe SSDs on your PC or Mac. And lastly, 3D NAND stack cells one on top of another as compared to the others where they are on one plane. Now that we have a basic understanding of NAND, there are a few other factors that we need to consider. In order to read and write to these NAND chips, we require, for the most part, some kind of controller between your device and these NAND chips. A massive player in the controller game is Fizon, and they happen to make many of the controllers that we use in our SSDs here at Sabrum. Fizon Electronics is a Taiwanese company that mainly designs, manufactures, and sells controllers for NAND flash memory chips. They are also a member of the Open NAND Flash Interference Working Group that aims to standardize the hardware interface to NAND flash chips. NVMe SSDs that have these controllers have read and write speeds of around 7,000 megabytes per second. They've released chips like the E18 controller with 176 six layer NAND, which is both found in our Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus and Rocket 4 Plus G. This powerful combination delivers up to 7,300 megabytes per second sequential reads and 6,900 megabytes per second sequential writes. The new E18 paired with the 176 layer NAND delivers the best game load times of any consumer SSD in its class. It has an approximate 30% smaller die size compared to the previous generation 96 layer NAND and has a 35% increase in read and write speed performance. Fizon's pairing utilizes a 1,600 mega transfers per second bus that has set new performance world records for PC 4.0. As such, demanding users that are looking for the highest performance, regardless of the platform, will find it with the new Fizon E18 paired with the 176 layer memory. The importance of NAND flash technology is crucial for our day to day, especially when almost everything that we do has some kind of smart device involved. Without the development of NAND technology, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we love to do, like play our favorite games or store pictures from our amazing trip away. But that's it for today's video. If you found it interesting, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.